got everything we need right here wine and burning chemistry you and me alone you and me alone inside of our embassy everything we need right here make me sing along sing alone i never thought i'd ever be stuck by you Ooh. i never thought i'd ever be stuck by you oh watch me dancing in the colors lightning blowing up a thunder wash it over me we got everything we need right watch me dancing in the colors lightning blowing up a thunder wash it over me yeah we got everything we need right What's up dolls? Welcome back to the channel or if you are new here, welcome. Today I'm back with another lookbook and I am a little bit late, I apologize. I was supposed to upload a lookbook a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I tried to have one up every month but I really wanted to wait until we had this new pack before I did another one and um, yeah here we are, we're finally doing another lookbook. And today's theme, as you may have seen from the intro or the title, is mermaid, of course. And I really hope you guys enjoy the intro, by the way. I really, I really love doing those. I have so much fun doing the intros. Uh, but yeah, I could not not do a mermaid lookbook. Uh, I mean, I had so much fun doing the alien lookbook. And when I saw that we were getting mermaids in this pack, my first thought was, yes, I'm gonna get to do another crazy occult lookbook. So I'm really excited <laughs> to share this one with you guys. And I hope you'll like these outfits that I made. And they are gonna be maybe a little bit different from everyone else's mermaids because when I think of mermaid I do not think of like pretty princes of the sea I think of like evil creatures luring men to their death so I kind of wanted them all to have a little bit of a scary feel to them so two of them are gonna look very scary in my opinion and the other three are gonna be maybe a little bit more a little bit more subtle scary uh, you will see what I mean when you get to see their teeth and stuff. Um, but yeah, so this first mermaid, she is called Marine Tide, and I thought I was really clever with the names for these mermaids. Uh, they all have a name that means something mermaidy and relating to the way they look. So I picked Marine for this mermaid because it means star of the sea. And I thought that fit with her like golden look very well, and I also pictured her to be like a member of the royal mermaid family. <laughs> I don't know if there is one, but if there is, she's part of it. And yeah, so I thought that name fit her well. And her aspiration is successful lineage, which I kind of, again, tied to her being a part of the royal family. I'm sure they are very strict with their kids and want them all to like carry on the name, the family name in a good light, you know? So. That's why I picked that aspiration and for traits, I give 
all the mermaids child of the ocean trade um because it fits all the mermaids uh, but then for the other two trades she, she got um snob and self-absorbed again because of her being royal so yeah that was the first mermaid and probably one of my favorites and she doesn't look scary that's scary but she does have very very scary teeth and i mean you can see her scales and stuff i i didn't want my mermaids to look completely human from the waist up i wanted there to be some more mermaid features so they don't look too human or sim sim simmy <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna say human even though they're sims anyway moving on to the second mermaid and this one definitely do not look human at all <laughs> this one has very very pale skin it's pretty much just pure white skin and very glittery scales she like shines and the name um i named this mermaid pearl cove yeah <laughs> because pearl is an ocean jewel i'm sure you all know and it's white and this mermaid looks like a white jewel so i thought the name was perfect for the sim um, and I'm getting really distracted. Sorry guys if you can hear background noise screaming. It's just kids playing I do have a playground outside my window. So There's pretty much always screaming kids in the background of all my videos And <laughs> there's no way to avoid it because they are seriously out there all day all night And I'm not even kidding. So I apologize for that and there's also cars because I live next to a road so <laughs> there is a lot of background noise i'm sorry guys um anyway what was i saying for inspiration inspiration aspiration i picked the curator for the sim she wants to collect stuff i kind of picture her to be like a seashell collector um and maybe a pearl collector uh, and um then for traits, she also got Child of the Ocean, as all the mermaids do, and Music Lover, and uh, loves the outdoors. So that was the second mermaid, and another one of my favorites. It Although she looks very beautiful, very dreamy, and fantasy-like, she also looks very scary, in my opinion. Like, imagine meeting someone that looks like that in real life. Like, when you're going out for a swim in the ocean, and that thing appears like from underneath the surface like <laughs> i would be scared to death guys so she's very beautiful and scary at the same time and i wanted to include some of these more scary mermaids because as i said before when i think of mermaid i think of evil creatures and i'm sure mermaid lore and mermaid myth is very different in different parts of the world but i remember reading that it was believed that mermaids were actually really scary looking and they only appeared beautiful to men and after hearing their song but they're not actually like beautiful they're very scary looking so i wanted to include a little bit of that lore uh, but working on the third mermaid now and this one is not as scary this one is more is one of the more normal human like mermaids but she does have some crazy eyes very pointy vampire like teeth and long nails and scales and you can also see her gills and stuff so definitely not completely human still kind of scary you know if you get close from afar she looks more human than some of the other mermaids but not completely and her name is Coralia Reef and Coralia means like coral and I thought that was fitting because of her colors her colors make me think of corals so <laughs> that's why I picked it I know not all cor corals are orange but when I think of them uh, the first thought is orange so I like that name for her and her aspiration is um beach life and she wants to take it slow and enjoy the beach life and the inspiration for this mermaid was actually ariel the little mermaid i kind of pictured this mermaid to be like her a bit like her you know she dreams about the human life or the the sims life she doesn't really want to be a mermaid so she's often on land stealing human things so i did give her the kleptomaniac trait she is a klepto stealing forks and stuff and uh, I, I just couldn't keep myself from making something Little Mermaid inspired. So kind of saw this, this mermaid as Ariel, kind of. She doesn't look like her, but her 
personality I thought uh, or was inspired by Ariel <laughs> anyway getting distracted again so that was her and moving on to the fourth sim or mermaid this one this is gonna be another crazy scary one guys <laughs> probably the scariest of them all uh, but also my favorite like the favorite and her name is Sirena Shore or Sirena I don't know <laughs> it's the Spanish word for mermaid or siren and I probably pronounced that wrong but I don't speak Spanish so I apologize if that was wrong I tried anyway I really like that name for her and if you saw the intro you know where I'm going with this mermaid the intro clip really reflects how I pictured this mermaid uh, because this mermaid is evil. She does have the evil trait and she likes to lure men to their death after seducing them. So her aspiration is serial romantic because there wasn't a serial killer one. <laughs> a bummer. But, you know, it works. Um, so that's what she does. She's evil, romantic, and child of the ocean. So she's your pretty typical mermaid stereotype. Um, you know, evil killing men <laughs> all that and for looks though i was going for like that ocean demon dark look uh, but i do change her skin tone because i started off with this white one and it kind of made her look like an emo mermaid and that's not really what i was going for uh, and i wasn't happy with the way she looked so i changed the skin and after that i really 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 love how this mermaid turned out um I also gave her a shimmer to her, like a shimmer scale, and I don't know, she's absolutely gorgeous and scary AF, <laughs> and again, I think she's my favorite. So moving on to The Last Mermaid, the last look of this lookbook, this is aqua blue, aqua I'm sure you all know means water, and the color of the sea, and I named her that because her mermaid tail is blue as the sea, or ocean. Anyway, this mermaid is an archaeology scholar and she has the child of the island trade. Uh, so she has a very deep connection to the island, to the history and the culture of the island, and she can summon spirits. So, I don't know, kind of picture her to be a very wise elder mermaid. She knows everything about Solani and the past and because she has such a deep connection to Solani and its traditions, I kind of imagined her to have been a human once, a local from Solani that was turned into a mermaid a very, very long time ago. So for the looks, I kind of tried to make her look like a local from Solani, but still with a lot of mermaids mermaid features too of course so yeah that's the backstory for this one and yeah that was all the mermaids guys uh if you want to download any of the cc i used in this video you can find links on my tumblr and my tumblr you can find in the info box down below and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave it a big big thumbs up really appreciate it and thank you guys so very much for watching really appreciate that too i love you all so very much and i'll see you in my next video we got it.